your hashtag love problems online at 194.com. And today we got Love Doctors. Love Doctors, you're on the Love Gurus. Hey, it's Melanie. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. I've been on a few dates with a guy I met through work. On the first date, he mentioned that he was going to move into a new apartment soon and that he wasn't getting along with his roommate. Last night was our fourth date, and it came out that his roommate is actually his ex. And they split a few months ago, but they're still living together. Would it be overreacting to stop seeing him over this? It really makes me uncomfortable that he lives with his ex, and I'm wondering if it's suspicious he didn't mention it earlier. I get why he wouldn't, because he wants to continue to date you. However, being shady like that, I don't like it. So, yeah, stop dating him. I mean, he's already in the motion of trying to get out of there, and you've been in a lease before. And I was honest. I let everybody know I was living with my ex. Well, I guess, so way back in the day, I was living with my ex at one point, too, and uh, I guess it was just never a conversation, but is it a one-bedroom apartment that you're currently living in? Are they sleeping in the same yeah. bed is really what you're asking. Yeah, because yeah. I had a two-bedroom apartment, so if you're in a one-bedroom apartment, eh, that, that might need to be discussed. Now, when you did live with your ex, Amy Kay, did was there like a time ever where like you two were like meeting new romantic interests and like having them in that shared home together? Or was no. that never an issue? Because that is a whole different level of weird. That no, we we only had lived together, I think, for like a month after we split. So it wasn't too long, but still a month was long enough. And how do you think you'd have handled that had that happened? How do you think you would have like explained to him, like, I'm gonna have somebody come over. I've told them I live with my ex boyfriend. You got to behave. I wouldn't. I would have to go to that person's house. I would feel too uncomfortable for my new partner and my old partner. Yeah, I just don't know how you swing that. You, you got to get him out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be kind of awkward, too. But, you know, with a lease and you signed it, you, you have to leave, you know, cordially. Otherwise, it could go. It goes on your record, too, yeah. right? So, um, so I'm sure he's probably trying to make the moves to be able to get off and, and not, like, make the ex mad at the same time if his name's on a lease. Plus, sometimes if you're looking for a certain place in a location, if something's not coming up, I mean, you still have to be patient, right? Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's probably, now that you've discovered this, it's a pretty natural conversation to say, so, you live with your ex. What's the deal with that? How's that going? How's long that going to go? When do you see yourself getting out of it? That's a normal conversation to have. Yeah, I mean, I think now that she knows about it, um, they need to have that conversation and be like, okay, well, just be just to also clarify that it is an ex and you're not just uh, cheating on your ex with me type of situation. So, And find out, is it a one bedroom? Like that would drive me nuts.